Hello, artist friends. Thanks for joining me. Roll up a log and let's learn about color. Today's book is one of my favorites called Color by Ruth Heller. From pencils and markers and crayons and chalks, from paints in a tube or a jar or a box, come colors delicious, delectable, and lush. Applied by 10 fingers to hands or a brush to paper or canvas or less orthodox to faces and t-shirts. And fences and walks. Then abracadabra from pencils and markers and crayons and chalks by hook and by crook Every one of those colors got into this book. They were printed by printers in four inky stages, and now they appear right here on these pages. Stage one is yellow, magenta stage two. Stage three, like the sea, is cyan blue. Black is stage four, and the printers are through. The printers are some kind of wizards, I think, in minuscule dots that apply all the ink. They apply all the ink to a surface that's white, Hocus pocus, behold, what a These sight. These primary colors comprise the four inks any printer applies. We call black a color, but that's problematic. Black should really be called achromatic, free from color. So yellows, magentas, and cyan blue are the primary hues that printers use. And the combination of any two produces a secondary hue. The secondary colors are Presto and Changeo, orange, purple, and green. Now there are six to combine and to mix. The colors continue their magic tricks. The colors continue their magic tricks whenever they blend or combine or mix. Mix white with a color and call it a tint, but there's no white ink for the printers to print. So, with the computers and cameras and lasers and screens, and by other mechanical magical means, they shrink the dots and the colors fade. Mix black with a color and you call it a shade. Mix red with a color to make it warm and blue to make it cool. And if you follow this very same rule, blues become warm and reds become cool. Cool colors recede and the warm ones advance. Brighten, dance. Mix opposites on this wheel of color, the splendor is gone and the colors get duller. Opposites on that wheel, you see, are always called complementary. Stare at the pink and count to 30 and try not to blink. Then shift to the right and stare at the white. The colors have switched. Complementary colors are truly bewitched. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. The green is now pink and the pink is green. Color is magic, no doubt about that. If you're not convinced, I'll eat my hat.